production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the GameFire Network, www.gamefire.com. I am your host, Bridger, and uh, this is your weekly Company of Heroes video show. We've got a great show for you today on Wolf Haze. It's a, one of the newer maps, excuse me, one of the new 2v2 maps in Company of Heroes. It's sort of like a 2v2 Angaville, so uh, we'll take a look at how this one plays out here tonight. But before we go there, let me introduce my co-host as well. I am Bridger, and with me as always is the ever-talented, ever-gracious Fit and Speed. Welcome to the program. This is going to be an interesting uh, replay. Uh, it wasn't pre-set up by myself or Bridger. It was. Uh, we thought it would be an interesting idea to let you guys, kind of a last-minute thing, uh, Put up replays on game replays. It, it was I call it the uh, Tales of Heroes 53 Community Challenge. Uh, it was only for a couple hours, but we had a choice between one or two, and uh, AVD had submitted this one, and uh, we really wanted to do a two v two, and the other one was a one v one on Sturzdorf, so we decided to go with this one. Uh, I really love this map. Uh, as far as the teams, we have uh, from the ARX clan, we have uh, AVD and uh, Kebab Delor. So I don't know if that's uh, NTD, his 2v2 partner. And likewise, we have uh, Laid Mr. Z, which I don't know if that's actually Laid Mr. Z or an imposter. But uh, And AK88, don't know who that is. So sorry, guys. But uh, yeah. Well, now we two. do. I guess we now can say we do because we've seen them. Yes. Well, we will. Yes. But uh, two two very talented teams. If these are the two teams that me and Annie had uh, played, very stiff uh, competition and uh, should be a great game. All right. So we're at the five-second mark for those of you following along at home, and we're going to start in five, four, three, two, one. Unpause. And uh, right, while, while this gets started, new music trivia. Band, three words, J-E-W. That's hilarious. Uh, anyways, and the the uh, name of the album is starts with an F and ends with an S. So uh, awesome, three words. Yes. All right. Now, while we're starting, I'd like to point out how the Wehrmacht gets screwed over again with bunker placement. There's a huge hole here where infantry just can easily pass through and walk right into their base. I don't. <laughs> I don't understand that. It's it's not even funny. There's a giant hole. There's like a big gap in the fence where you could just walk right around it. It's the, the, the bunker at the top left there does not extend far enough to block this gap at all. It's just And we were also uh, talking about the weird inconsistencies about what's the deal with that strap point in the north, so Yeah, the with next to the VP. That's kinda weird. Yeah. Or the strap weird. point that's over here. It's like if you cap that, um I guess does that connect you to the fuel or something? I don't know. That's weird. So yeah. let's let's take a look at the map from the overhead view. You've got a plump couple of plus 16 fuels right next to each of the players' bases, and then there's another one that's kind of check, chilling out over here on the on the far bottom. So that's unfortunately, you know, check off your list of what not to have on a map, and that's a single high point of either fuel or munitions that both teams are trying to vie for. Um, that's a no-no. If, you, if you're going to have a single point that people are vying for, be it munitions or fuel, it should be no more than a plus 10. And that's a, at a last last chance. It should be a plus 5 if, if it's if Are it's you talking about symmetrical. that plus 16? Yeah, I'm in talking the about the plus 16 in the bottom. Because um, there's I mean, no symmetrical a, point to match it, is what I'm saying. It, it, it's an interesting uh, po point on the map, though, because that plus 5 fuel is really easily cut off. Uh, that's true, actually, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, but... Uh, it's not British Sturzdorf are, quality, I no. guess. British and uh, Americans are... The, the center of that plus 5 fuel that they're fighting over tends to be a really crucial location, not only because it uh, covers the VP, but if you get an early mortar emplacement, it can bombard the other fuel, which is right next to it, as well as cover that strat point. On the left, and the so, VP, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's a it's a pretty pretty crucial um, 
place, especially because that is the center VP, and with the way that this map's laid out, um, you know, Axis is pretty much, or whoever starts in the north is pretty much always going to control the upper right, and the person that starts in the south is going to always control the uh, upper left. Uh, yeah. Pretty typical for the, if you start in the south, for British to move their, uh, for their headquarters command truck on that location. A couple small skirmishes, uh, well placed uh, MG, <coughs> MG by AVD. Yeah. It really stopped that. I mean, the Americans and the British combined were really easily winning, and then that MG came out, and you know this rifle squad and the uh, the infantry section that started out got suppressed, and there was not much they could do. Um, there's a lot of heavy cover I noticed on this map. You've got a lot of sandbags everywhere. It's sort of themed to be like a training infantry training area. It looks like um, you've yeah. got actually tires that units are supposed to run through. It looks like uh, must have been the German area of training because there's a crashed glider over there and to my knowledge they didn't use gliders i think that's strictly a british and american thing so those uh, two buildings on the left right where the tommies are getting suppressed it's pretty important to not let axis get an mg in there it's uh it's just really hard to, to break them out and it pretty much covers that whole whole area um from left to right um so basically i believe what abd is trying to do is get basically slowly creep up that MG into that building. Uh, we do have a Bren carrier coming out. I know in beta it was a pretty popular strat to do a two Bren start, uh, especially when you went up against double Panzer Elite. Uh, we do have an early MG emplacement in the center, which was uh, recently uh, reduced in cost down to 20 fuel, finally. Yeah, that's that's certainly something that's been needed for a while. It, used to be, it only went down by five, though, right? Yeah. I mean, and uh, this is kind of the uh, when the Wehrmacht and Panzer Elite play together. It tends to be that the Panzer Elite gets the uh, mobile infantry, and the Wehrmacht is pretty much reduced to nothing more machine than gun an bitch. M M <laughs> yeah, machine gun and sniper uh, spammer with uh, maybe a bike and then quick tech up to Nebels. I'm surprised to see a Krieg Barracks uh, going up. Maybe he, he wants to get an early pack or uh, perhaps a mortar uh, to deal with some of those British emplacements that currently don't exist. Uh, first yeah. infantry half-track on the field, c field from the kebab dealer. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think that uh, that they even knew that that, Im that that machine gun emplacement exists, but now they certainly do. Um, it just opened up yeah. there. It's got a pretty wide arc, too. I mean, the American very machine gun emplacement has a very wide arc. It's always been very good for that reason. Um, it could cover a huge swath of territory. It was just really expensive, which is always the cost prohibiting in the past. The interesting thing is, is you have uh, that huge ramp right south of the train, and I don't know, uh, can you see if that building has windows on the other side? Let me switch the uh, position. Yeah, it does. So, you know, I, I haven't personally put anything in there, but, you know, if you're Axis in the south, maybe throwing an MG into there early would be a, yeah. an interesting idea. Look it's at a it really now. big building. It actually has a lot more windows on the south side than it does on that north side. I think those are all doors. Well, it's only got one window on the north side, which uh, probably was, maybe was done as a balance thing to... Uh, prevent it from being too powerful if you got a couple of machine guns in there or you got some squads in there to back up the machine gun. This way only one yep. machine gun can be facing north to uh, to fire at anybody going after that fuel or what have you. I'm thinking a machine Wait, gun probably reaches that fuel. Yeah, we have an early bunker going up. I'm uh, you know pretty surprised that uh, the British player made quite a bit of... did he lose a squad? He must have lost a squad. No, 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 there it is. It's on the right. Um, I'm pretty surprised that there were no trenches that went up uh, this earlier, especially when they had secured the VP. I mean, a, a, a trench by that emplacement would have been a nice complement, but I'm pretty sure that they expected a, a fast mortar half track, uh, well supported by MGs. So, I, I don't know. I personally like to just camp that center and build, you know, two or three early mortar emplacements, and uh, as British just uh -oh. basically spam emplacements there. Now the first wow. mortar half track is out, so wow, the Americans just lost a ton of guys real quick. I think that was the machine gun yep. that just opened up along with the infantry half infantry. track. Oh, we do um, have one level of veterancy on the MGs. Oh wow, they've been doing that much damage. That's pretty imp Oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wehrmacht? No, they've got support veterancy on them now, yep. which of course uh, support veterancy was buffed for most everything. I don't remember. Did something happen to the machine gun? Order coming in. If he doesn't move those guys by the VP in the center. Oh, just dodged it. What was that? Did they... Did, I can't remember. Did they improve the machine gun veterancy at all? 
I don't. I don't know. I mean, all, I, I think remember. all of the veterancy was just made cheaper. Yeah. Well, this, we that's right. The support veterancy was made cheaper, and they tweaked a couple of them to make them more useful. Yep. So so Grenadier far, zoning I mean, it up on the left hand side here, combined yep. with a machine gun. So far, the map's uh, you know pretty polarized. Uh, I do think that the Axis is in the advantage right now. I think uh, they've definitely taken less casualties and it's probably winning the manpower war. Uh, British did neglected to dig in. Uh, I definitely think that was a problem. We probably will have a Stuart coming out uh, pretty soon just after uh, Mr. Z gets a... What the hell? Okay, yeah, he does have a Sapper, Ooh. so he might be building an emplacement somewhere. Wow. Uh, we're getting... I think the lieutenant just got that kill. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> nice. cool. Nice. Yeah. And now oh, we and actually there's have... the MG Oh, it got in the building. Oh no. Yeah, that is that's that's dangerous. So yeah, he's definitely gonna need uh, sniping need some coming out soon. Hopefully, he's got to snipe it. There it is. Those are tough buildings uh, too. So this is this is a pretty uh, dangerous situation. Definitely. He's got it. He's got his uh, Bren carrier shooting at it though, and I mean, I don't know if that's going to be able to do enough damage. Oh, it is! Wow, they've been taking a lot of damage over time. They ki they killed one of the when they sniped. They must have got the guy with a lot of health, which is kind of lucky yeah. for them. That Bren carrier is easily going to be able to kill it before it can kill him. It's definitely slowed him down. I'm I can tell he wants to put that field support truck on the plus five fuel, and uh, it's been taking him so long to get there. It's just he's he's having a hard yeah, time. Yeah, that was uh. Weird placement for the truck. Uh, I think because he had he can't the plus five, the... and then he called the truck in. But by the time the truck came in, he didn't have it anymore. I think that might have been what happened. Yeah. I mean, you see, they're still having a trouble with that MG. And imagine if it was supported by, you know, a few other units. Uh... It just destroyed that Brent. I didn't realize it would kill it that fast. It's. I guess it's because it was so close. But man, yep. and it has a sliver of health uh, right now. He... He can't, I mean, I believe he's building Ooh. a captain, which is taking so long, but he's going to have to immediately retreat it. If he's lucky, he can get it out of there. There's a pack. There's a small, small skirmish Fighting. in the center oh! of the oh, Wow, yeah. to add insult oh, to injury, nice mortar at the end. But the pack killed it in two shots, half-track was gone. That was yeah. a very good use of a pack, especially with its new buffed, uh, pen, well, not pen, did it get penetration buff? I think it's got penetration buff in uh, opposing fronts. And then they also... Uh, made a change to the they said they made a change to the cloaking to the to the camouflage first strike bonus so it lasts for a number of seconds rather than a number of uh shots first shot yeah first trench going up on the left one thing that i really really think that mr z could have done a little bit better is uh to get to get the uh secured resources on that uh, headquarters command truck pretty quick. Um, that extra 12 makes it makes a big difference. I can understand uh, why he wouldn't get that uh, because he seems to be wanting to fast tech as quickly as possible. But uh, yeah, that captain is uh, is being mortared right now in the upper left. So, but still, like those munitions really really can come in handy, especially if you get you know early bars, early grenades, uh, or just want to get a lot of brands. Oh jeez, he's got to uh, put those guys in the trench. He built a trench and now he's getting mortared, but he can't. He must not be paying attention over here. Oh, it's the America. That's what, no, it's the infantry section. Never mind. Now he's in the trench. So, oh jeez, the captain. Oh no, the captain. Oh. I couldn't he's tell. Not him. Gonna was die. he trying to? Oh uh, god, he's not gonna die. Wow. Yeah, get him out of he was in green cover though. I mean, it's not entirely unexpected. Here comes the Stewart. Does he have anything aside from that pack to fight the Stuart now? That's a good question. I don't see any really doesn't look like it. Shreks at all yet. So the Stuart's going to be a little bit of dominator on the battlefield. Unless, wow, it took a bunch heck? of damage. What did it get hit from? Maybe a mortar. Mortar might have hit it, actually, now that you mention it. He's got to get Stewart's that thing in behind are, uh, it and just canister shot that machine gun. Yeah, Stuarts are uh, sometimes disappointing. Uh, I, I don't like the fact that they take... Uh, damage from the flak for links. I think that that's really annoying. Um, oh, but, you know what? Yeah, Here it is. The pack 38 was Rangers chasing left. in the thing. center. Ooh, where is it? There it is. Right by the PP. And there goes uh, the Rangers' perfect counter to uh, to the to the PE to, to track army. To everything the Panzer Elite can muster. <laughs> yeah, everything short of a Panzer IV, basically. But even then, like we were discussing on the audio show this week. Um, Vinsby pointed out, and I sort of confirmed, the Americans' uh, armor type 
versus the British armor type. The Panzer IV, for some reason, uh, only has a 40% accuracy against Rangers right. and riflemen, whereas it has a 75% accuracy against the British infantry. Right. Which, which is means really it sucks weird. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we've been missing out on the action in the upper right hand corner, but I've been scaling back to it every now and then. And uh, we've had quite a few skirmishes over that VP. And uh, the quad just uh, fought off uh, one of the Panzer Grenadiers. And we do have the increased squad size. Oh, yeah. Um, and Shrek's on one of them that's uh, pulling that half track out of there. And he's destroyed the munition, the, the OP that they placed on that munitions point there. Yeah. I bet you all those Panzer Grenadiers can't take out those Rangers. The Rangers <laughs> aren't even in cover, unfortunately. They're, they're, it's one of the weird things with the AI. It thinks it's in cover, but it's not actually in cover. Have you seen that before? Wow. I mean, look at the riflemen. You know, they just get chewed up like butter. But the Rangers, I mean, I mean, look at that, right? Maybe they are look at that. in cover. And it's just I mean, they're not being attacked by by four squads. Two of three which squads with have four the upgraded Gewehrs. And this is what we were talking about with the infantry combat systems, five men, and you know, look at that, four men still left in the squad and at that three. little health. And that now it's three. three. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, there's been a little bit of back and forth going uh -oh. on on the right side, but it looks like the British finally consolidated on the on the left. And, uh, Ooh! Stuart kind of just sitting there, what did I miss? Oh, the 25 pounder. Yeah, it, 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 it's aimed right at that, that uh, pack. I don't know if he was aiming at the pack. Or the bunker, if he knew the pack was there. Killed two of the medics. <laughs> it's pretty far away, so it's not got a... There's a solid hit. It's, it's, it's not got a really good... barely getting out of yeah. there. I think the pack was a was an accidental uh, nice advantage. But wow, he's so close to killing that, that medic bunker. Yep. There's a lot going on in this game here. It's a very small, small map, so there's a lot of battles going on everywhere in this 2v2. I kind of like the way... This small map is working out. It's small, but it's really focused on that on the center VP because you know there's really nothing much else that's worth fighting over. A couple plus five points here and there don't really make too much difference, uh, so it tends to always be fought around there. And I, I'm very impressed that the 25 pounder was placed so well. Um, I never really thought to put it back there. Um, but I usually put it in front of the train. But I think that's definitely well protected. He there. must There's be really he must be Royal Canadian Artillery. I don't know you if think? that is uh, within range. It might be because it's a very small map. There to there, yeah, yeah, maybe that might be at the very the bunker might be at the very extreme range of it regularly. We have a half track on the left hand side, We're trying to finish off. It looks like looks like the steward. If we can ah, get off a canister shot, yeah. no, it's gone. Rangers coming in. Mortars, traditional mortars, I think that is. If I yeah. find it. Yep, regular mortars. Lots <laughs> of uh, crap getting killed on the right side. 25 pounder, forced them off. Oh yeah, full retreat from those guys there. <laughs> Look at that, both of those riflemen have uh, have Brens. It's ha! hilarious. That is pretty funny. Unfortunately, he can't use the button if he ever wanted to. Yeah. And uh, Rangers wreaking havoc in the center. Going to take out that mortar half track. Looks like. Whenever yep. they decide to fire. Wow. Uh-oh. Grenadier grenade. But misses because they were already on the move. Yep. A lot of people don't realize the Grenadier grenade does less damage and it's less accurate the farther you throw it. So if you can. Now they didn't really have a choice. They were behind the fence. If you can. If you have the opportunity to get closer before you throw it. It gives your enemy less time to uh, to to react and it also does a lot more damage and is a lot more accurate. Yeah. Wow. Just, what the hell happened? To all those guys on the right hand side. I guess they had a retreat. And of course, we were talking about the triage center and the importance of uh, healing your squads. I just upgraded grenades, uh, AK-88, which is a interesting combination. Play on words. Uh, let's see. We've got terror here by. Uh one of them, AK-88, is going terror. I don't know what the PE player has gone. Have, have you seen anything specific you, yet? You mean AVD is going terror? Uh, I yeah. mean, AVD <laughs> is be. going terror. I clicked yeah. the wrong guy, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, um, what do you think about that uh, placement of that truck now? Double Shrek just uh, pretty much annihilated it on the left. Oh, wow. 
Luckily, yep, there uh, goes explosion. Yeah. Those trucks are really weak to Shreks. Uh, luckily, AK-88 uh, has a tank depot out, so they they can field armor right now. That uh, sounds like 25 pounders going off again. Yep. Where are we going? This dropping it on the well, like bunker the, again. Further than the medic bunker. Wow. Wildly inaccurate shot that first one. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's all going a little bit farther than it should be, unfortunately. I wonder if that was like skirmish uh, on the right. Go ahead. I, I don't know. It kind of looked like creeping barrage, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Didn't howitzer shoot used to cost two hundred? It's just me. To drop howitzers for the American. Yeah, now it costs one hundred and fifty. I, I don't remember if they changed that. It must have, because I always remember it being two hundred. I don't know, maybe. Maybe they must have just... changed it at some point during the beta. I can't keep track of it. They changed so much stuff. Maybe it was in the patch. I didn't, I didn't remember reading it. Yeah. I mean, now we've kind of got the static. You know, my front is uh, not going anywhere because Panzer Elite has uh, taken and held the center for quite a while. I mean, yeah. we got packs, we got MGs, we got bikes for extra scouting, we got the half tracks. I mean, they, they got everything that they need. Medic bunker, I mean, they have everything they need set up. So it's really smart that they're not being over aggressive in the center and uh, instead is pushing up on the right flank. Uh, with some success, uh, I think that the. They certainly uh, cut off that. Uh, not, they haven't cut it off, but they've taken the high munitions point and now they're getting it back to their side. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not really liking AK 88's. Uh, Ranger usage. Uh, does he know that Thompsons are really effective up close? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's afraid of getting slowed or something along the way, but... I mean, that's not the range you want to be using Thompsons from. Oh, no! It's... The howitzer's called in just a little bit too late. Oh, don't run that Churchill into the zone! Oh, we have a Churchill, so let's see how that works out, shall we? <laughs> The first thing it does in combat is get shot by its own artillery. Nice. Just one more reason not to get those retarded things. Was that a bike that just charged the American HQ? Yeah, it look is. how much damage it, it took. Uh oh, it's gonna uh, get away! Damage engine! Oh no! It's Hans Mark II! He's on a bike now. Get your Grens out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> they're slowing him down. What are you doing? What is this? What the hell kind of micro is that? He what the hell? In the trench, I guess. Look at that. He's just barely I don't know. I gonna think, make it. You know, Bridger, we, we gotta give him credit for that one. I think he was trying to push the motorcycle. <laughs> <up. laughs> it's, it's going slower than walking speed. Okay then. Yes. I, I think he ran that in there to get a, a, a sighting for his mortar. I guess. I Ooh, Hetzer versus Churchill. Well, we already know who's gonna win this battle. Oh yeah. Hetzer hands down, but uh, yet another reason here's, not to go. Here's right Rangers. Here. All right, Rangers versus Hetzer. Yes. Yeah, a little minuscule amount of damage. There's a good one. Wow, they got a critical. Look like it must have been a critical hit. Oh, wow! What the? Taking it. WTF yep. bazookas! Yeah. I don't think VCOH bazookas could do that in the past. <laughs> I don't think vanilla COH bazookas could do anything in the past. Wow, that's a pretty good buff. Pr Not only you, that, they sir. last forever. <laughs> do not know the meaning of rangers. I no. apparently did not. I understood that they're godlike. <laughs> I thought they were only godlike because they got the super high heroic armor in addition sure. to the Thompsons. I didn't realize they were godlike yeah. now. Well, co combine armor. that with the, the bazookas own everything and the fact that the infantry combat system changed and they have a large squad oh, size. Oh. Not to, not to mention that Sherman. Uh, I'm totally... Totally, that's that is huge Panzer Whoa. grenadier spam. Yeah, yeah, that is a huge spam. I hope that's he has group zeal on. He better have group zeal on. And it was yeah, a good recall too it. before that. But he 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 hit that Sherman twice in the ass. Oh, uh, we have a firestorm going off on the left, or is that a Stuka? What is that? Uh, uh, oh, Nebelwerfer. On the left. Oh, I see. Right by the tank depot. Oh, maybe that's why he th he threw in that yeah. bike there earlier, so he could get a sighting for the Nebel. I don't even so, yeah. see where it is. Oh, Rangers. Right back there. Bazooka's own now. The our new armor class owns. The fact that they have a huge squad makes that 10%, uh, you know, randomness more effective, uh, less effective against them. 
And on top of that, remember we were talking about the the third part of the equation is the uh, the uh, automatic weapons being you know pretty messed up these yeah. days. So, so yeah, Rangers. Here comes perfect the example. virtual aviary. Look at these! They, all every single one of these Panzer Grenadiers has the uh, the Gewehr 43 upgrade. Let's see how the uh, a number of the retard wow. order does on the uh, on the aviary here. Probably gonna fire. Where's the AVR? There it is. Or not. Let's see. You gonna fire? Well, I don't know. I don't know, but uh, allies have reclaimed the map right now. Yeah, they've taken the victory point there. Uh, here we go. Lots of fighting on the left. The infantry horde. Suicide charge. Now here's what I do is I drop artillery behind them because as soon as they hear that artillery going off, they're gonna hit the retreat button. Actually, he dropped it over there a little earlier, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can't I just can't believe Panzer Grenadiers give five exp. Uh oh, here. uh oh, firestorm! I think. Yes, indeed. Is that not Could a firestorm? Oh, it is a Nebel. I'm uh, sorry. That's right. That makes yeah. sense because he's gone. He nice. Didn't, he didn't go left side of terror. Or no, he did go, but they switched Oof. to Firestorm. What? What happened? Now, it just, like, owned an entire Ranger squad and practically killed two others. The the Nebel? Yeah, on the right. Because it's got that damage over time thing going for it. Now, actually, these Rangers are having a hell of a time penetrating the Stug. Stug, yeah. Which is to be expected, I guess. You would hope. Yeah. There's your, there's your, uh, beautiful Stug. Ooh. Roger, when was the last time you saw one of those? Yeah, I think, I think oh, it was in uh, yeah. 19, uh, 1941 is the last time I saw it. They never used it anymore, really. You could use a double veterancy on that. Finish off the yeah. Rangers a lot faster. Now it he brought was, up a mortar, uh, though. It was definitely uh, back oh, in the day before... Two good hits. Uh, it was earlier in the war. We got to at least... Uh oh, 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 wow! <laughs> 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 the other Rangers came to say hello. This stuff's just barely going to get out of there. With no main gun. Mortar on coming in to uh, try to stop that advance. And Doing uh, a good, looks good job. like the middle's being retake, retaken by the Germans. It's a pretty good big back and forth fight here. Yep. And there goes the Panzer Grenadiers, which are. Oh, wow. This, I didn't see this. The, the right hand, the entire right hand victory. All the victory points have been taken by the Americans. I hear that's why we're that's why we're so low. Something's, something's getting. F Did you hear the arty? Yeah. What is? Oh, there's some uh, some uh, rifle grenades going off in the middle. That might have been what it was. I don't know. We've got three points. Uh, uh, I think we need five to get the tiger. Is it five or six now to get the? It's uh the king tiger. one one two one two five, I believe. Okay. I think. Or one three. Five. Oh, that's right. It's one. It's one three because they switched propaganda and uh, and firestorm, yeah. right? You won't catch me dead playing Wehrmacht, so. Yeah. Uh, more bunkers going up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sherman used to be the god against infantry is now uh, just cowering anytime Shreks are near. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. We're going to have a Vickers coming up at this point in the game. That's uh, that's interesting. Where? Uh, by the VP in the center. Oh, a Vickers. Yeah, and I see the mortar in placement as well is being made. That's a great place for it, too, right behind the train? That's, yes. Yeah, you know, it's about time, gentlemen. That's uh, that's the way you got to start off this map. Oh, look at this. On Neil the right. on the right dropping those engineers. Yeah, the Nebel. He must have gone tank hunters, apple. right? He's got double double Panzer Shreks, unless he picked them up from some, from another yeah, squad. He, yeah, I th I think he probably did go left side of tank hunters, maybe. Lots of Rangers. Because I've seen two squads now that had that, unless it's the same squad that retreated and then. No, there's another squad back there too. So I'm pretty sure he's got two different squads that are like that. Oh wow! Pulls a massive retreat right into the artillery. How it's already. Yep. Yep. That's uh, Infantry Company's propaganda war right there. The howitzer shooting. Pretty much. That has a chance of doing damage. 
<laughs> yeah, they need to recap that center if they can. I'm pretty surprised. I mean, Vickers. I mean, the mortar mortars get them pretty good, and uh, well, the Vickers is gonna basically hold them in place while the mortar takes them out. Unless, of course, booyah, booyah, mortar is gonna be gone in ten seconds here. Yeah. I guess they probably could have mortar put the mortar a little bit farther back. Look at that easy <laughs> XP for the axes. We're at four points, yeah. by the way, now for Terror King Tiger. Nebel Warfer going off on the uh, Vickers. Oh yeah. Yeah, really, really late uh, for for those type of any of those emplacements. You know that the infantry section can make it. Thirty minutes in, yeah, I don't know about that. You know the uh, only hmm? the British player hasn't even rebuilt any of his other buildings. He's just sitting there playing with an HQ. Sappers, I don't need no more sappers. <laughs> oh no, he does. Sorry, there it is. Okay, I found the field support truck. It's over on the plus sixteen there in, in the south. I didn't see it where it used to be, so I was like, well, he never replaced it there. Man, that infantry blob of Panzer Grenadiers is just getting owned. Every time it goes out, it comes back. It goes out, it comes back. Yeah, I don't know about uh, Kebab's <laughs> dealers' uh, deal with those Panzer Grenadiers. I mean. That's and, what the third or fourth time, so. Yeah, I feel like there's just so many units over here on the left that are just sitting there doing nothing. You've got the uh, machine gunner in the bunker there. You've got pack 38s that could be fighting on the right, too. We do have a Vet 2 Stug going into. Yeah, I see uh, oh, that. there's a howitzer on the left. Wow. Yeah, that's going to make short it. work of that howitzer. It really is. He's trying to repair it. Wow, did you see that? Its health go down? Did you see that? What, the health of the howitzer? Like, yeah, the white bar, it's yeah. just like, went, I mean, like two shots and it was pretty much almost yeah. destroyed. Now it's repairing it though, so it's missing. Oh, here comes the Nebel! Blew it up with a Nebel! Very nice, 29 XP for the Wehrmacht player. Now he's gonna be able to own the American with a Bren. Oh god, and here comes the Rangers to retreat right back into it. Oh jeez, look at that. But they're getting healed and they're taking oh, damage. Oh god, at the same time. oh god, I can just see oh, it now. Oh another one is that? Oh my god. Man. Wow. He's got three stugs vet two now and Nebelwerfers to back it up. There's the blob. Where's my strafing run? <laughs> There's my strafing run. Now we got five points, so I'm pretty sure it's six. I now. love it. Look at that. It takes that many Panzer Grenadiers to kill one guy in a trench. <laughs> is that a captain? Ludicrous. Is that what that is? I think it is. No, That's it's just an infantry section. Oh yeah, it is just an infantry section. Yeah, you know, well that's that, that's that's what you get you know, I for think being. He British, might though. he might be a little bit better off if he just. Uh, dropped, you know, two or three guys across multiple areas so they didn't have to retreat the whole blob every time uh, <laughs> artillery goes off. I don't think he has to retreat yeah. him either. I think he can walk them out of there fast enough. I feel like yeah. he should oh, be God. able to. Oh, God. Evil on the left. On the left. Wow. That almost, 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 almost did some damage. Yeah, they just barely got out of there alive. <laughs> And got look at another that, a ranger squad with half health and full squad. Ugh. And here comes the blob yeah, so, again. Like, uh, oh well, it didn't work the last seven times. Let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah, those Churchills, man. I'm really, really, you know, really. Uh, Why does really that? Can't oh, live it's an without those Churchills. Never mind. <laughs> Worthless. I thought it said, it said eight against infantry. Oh, I'm God. like, whoa, the Churchill's here amazing. If the petard, if the petard gets a nice shot off on that right now. Let's see if he's gonna actually use it. I've had some misfiring thing, when I've tried to use it. It's not even shooting at all. It doesn't have a main gun. The Churchill? The AVRE does yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It's been damaged. No, no, no. It just has that mortar. It can no, use I know, but it wasn't shooting at the infantry. Well, no. It has no main gun. <laughs> No, it shoots by default. It just doesn't do the super shot until you, uh... It has no main gun, Bridger. 
Yeah, it I'm does. It has the you. mortar. Why isn't the mortar shooting? That's what I'm asking. The mortar only shoots when you use a special ability. In the meantime, we got uh, three really? vet three stugs. Yeah. Are you sure? Three vet three stugs on the left. Nebel Warfare coming in on the Rangers. Oh, jeez. This is base rush written all over it. Yeah, vet three for the win. Nice. Yeah, it seems like the stugs are very, uh, very good at taking care of rangers, yeah. as long as they're not getting rear-shotted. Like that. Uh-oh. Here comes a regular Churchill trying to take out three Stugs, Vet 3. Good luck with that. Oh, he killed yeah. the gunner. Nice. Well, too bad you didn't get any XP for it. Killed another gunner. Wow, the Churchill looks like it might be a really good uh, thing to use if you want to kill gunners. <laughs> I don't know actually what surviving else the Stug shots, it. which is pretty decent. Uh, I mean, they're pretty beefy as far as the amount of damage that they take, but they're very bad damage output, and yeah. uh, in a team game that's more forgivable, but in a 1v1, yeah, I just... And in the meantime, we got the Panzer Grenadier blob over here doing absolutely nothing. It's holding on to the VPs, which I guess is more than you could say for what it was doing before. Yeah. Motorcycle lost? Oh, no. Wow, look at yeah. all those. And what was that? Oh, that's the, the Churchill's also firing. The Stug's like, yeah, all right, all right. There's there's like 17 stuka? times my manpower in units here. Oh, there we go. Propaganda war. We got an off. No, that was officer. Yep. Oh, no, that was propaganda Ch war. But the Charge. officer's in there, too. Charge. Interesting. Yeah. Lots of uh, Panzer Grenadiers making uh -oh. a small push with a uh, small mortar push? half track on the right. I don't think that's a small push. No, that's a small push, Ridger. Because you know what? They're going to make it about another two inches before he, sa he says, you know what? I think I should hit the retreat button again. No, I think well, he's learned his lesson, it looks like. He's not hitting the retreat yes. button this time. Infantry half track uh, is what he could use instead of retreating all the way back to base. But no, he's retreating all the way back to base. I guess to heal up, maybe, is what he's doing. Ah, oh, dear God. At least he learned he doesn't have to <laughs> retreat everything. <laughs> More yeah, needles so. on the, is it the left, I guess, he's firing at. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Just dropping him in any base. That's a massive range. I feel like that's a lot longer than it used to be. Yeah, the axes have to hold on because, I mean, they're down on VPs really bad. Yeah. I mean, the pressure's on. I don't know. I mean... God, with that many Panzer Grenadiers, you know, micro man, micro, seriously. I mean, he can't see what we can see, but. Did we lose? He, he could just walk oh, no, all the way is. back there. Oh, just sneak, sneak, sneak a uh, cap. Well, he could take out that field support truck. At least he could have. Now there's a lot more stuff over there. But he probably yeah. could have taken that out with a quick rush in and then retreat. We are losing ground. Uh oh, he's got to stop this. He should be able to respond to these rangers with like three needle shots, though. And here they go. Oh man, he lo oh artillery finally paid off, killed an entire grenadier squad. Oh, this nice needles. Could be the turnaround here for allies to get a uh, final final kill in. Oh jeez, those rangers are getting owned by the machine gun fire. They're trying to kill that mortar before... Oh, but they had to retreat. Ouch. Looks like a howitzer shot's gonna come in. Oh, they killed everybody in that trench, I think. There's nothing left. Uh, there there's the guy? obligatory retreat. More Nebel Warfers. This is a pretty chaotic. Every time I see yeah, here, game. attention, the enemy advances, and then I watch a sapper squad creeping through enemy territory. I just want to add, very slowly. Oh, but a Churchill to back it up. Oh, that Churchill's probably going to be gone real quick. Wow. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> just, it's okay. Look at that massive damage against the half track. Yeah. All of eight. Was that Sixth artillery? of its life. Uh oh. Churchill crocodile, though. And more retreat. 
We got a croc coming. What happened to the AVRE? Did they wind up killing it? They must have. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, I guess so. Didn't kill a damn thing. From what I saw, maybe I missed it. Oh my god. Come on, do something with those Panzer Grenadiers. We do have a Stuka on the left. Here comes more, uh, looks like probably American artillery. Sherman's in, in the, the center. Having a hard time against those Stugs. Looks like uh, more howitzers going off. Yeah, American dropped the off map oh. right there. Off map, unless they changed it, was never really good against veteran tanks. On map's pretty good, though. Oh, uh, oh my god, look at that! Oh! <laughs> That's a lot! I think that means we got a King Tiger. But the population cap is reached, so he can't pull out the Tiger. Wow. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see it, that? Yep. Yeah, that was about... Uh, I can't believe he only dropped one bazooka. 500 manpower worth. At least. That was like two... That was like one guy left in every squad that retreated. That's pretty much a GG right there. At least for the American player. Yeah. He's got nothing. He's got, got a tank what? destroyer, and as soon as this King Tiger hits the field, it's probably GG. I mean, they don't have any any anti-tank here, with the exception of Churchill's. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't I couldn't finish that. <laughs> you could you couldn't say anti-tank and Churchill in the I same know. sentence. Well, we've got we've got an armored face. command truck. If he could pull out that uh, that command tank and use it on all of his Churchills, and does the command tank also work on the American tanks? I don't know. I don't think it does. I don't think It'd be it cool either. if it did, but it, I don't think it does. Um, mm -hmm. Panzer Grenadiers. Maybe if you had the howitzer and both of the artilleries. Let's charge into the enemy's base with no Panzer Shreks to kill his shit. What the hell? I don't oh, know he's throwing this, grenades. Uh, I don't know. Like that. That may work. Incendiary grenades on the twenty-five pounder. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, it worked <laughs> yeah, decently. Well. Oh, but then... There we go. There's the inevitable retreat. He's certainly keeping them on their toes. I guess that was kind of worth it, maybe. One ranger squad. Or what was that? Howitzers coming in. 25 pounder shooting his own stuff. Yeah, basically. And this is why Tales of Heroes does 1v1s. <laughs> 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 hey, he finally cleared out that trench. Time to load it up with some Panzer Shreks and kill the 25 pounder, really. Well placed incendiary grenade in that trench. Oh man. This this Axis player is floating 1300 Whoa, manpower. Tons of nebels by the uh, 25 pounder in the center. How much is he floating? 1300 manpower, because he doesn't want to build anything, because he wants to pull out the King Tiger, but he doesn't have the population cap. Oh man! Whoa! <laughs> Show my bike, please. He says. Suicide some stuff. <laughs> Look at the bike. He's <laughs> he's got a damaged engine. He's like, just kill it. And he's like, no, don't kill it. Oh wow! That's pretty funny. <laughs> How dare you do that to Klaus? What did he ever do to you? <laughs> Listen, I Klaus. It's uh, nothing personal. We just uh, <laughs> gotta get some cutbacks, and yeah, you're not really. Cut well, everyone out for knows this work. that Klaus is the driver, but who's the gunner? Who knows? You know? But the King Tiger's in. I think it's over. I'm waiting for it. I mean, they were gonna need not Rangers. They were gonna need. They've got what? A, Sher a Sherman, a tank destroyer, and a Cromwell. They probably need at least another Sherman, and. A Cromwell or a command tank, maybe, to maybe have enough firepower to take out this King Tiger. And you'd probably yeah. have to upgrade, upgun the Sherman. Yeah. I mean, maybe well, they'll get lucky with artillery. Stickies. Yeah. Stickies, bazookas to the rear. Do have a forward HQ in the upper right hand corner? Just no notice that now. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's probably because he had way too much freaking. Oh, no, that's the other guy. I was going to say maybe it's because he had too many uh, manpower. Yep. Yep. 
massive amounts of Shreks going in on the uh, Vickers. Oh, he's trying to take out the tank depot. That's a very good target for uh, if you're trying to stop them from hitting your... Oh, but look at that. They turn around and take out the uh, the, the Sherman in like two hits. <laughs> There's a Cromwell. Sherman was at low health, though. Oh. Hold down. Hold down. Fire. It's an evil for coming in there. In addition to an American howitzer off map, I think. Yeah. You just got a King Tiger. Like, oh, go ahead. Come take out my uh, super area here. Now, they're decapping, actually, the right-hand side here. I think they're decapping the, uh, the HQ. Where they're going to. No, they're they going need to get the VP. VP. Yeah. They need the VP. They're pretty close to winning. They just, if they could get, you know, all three of them again, if they could coordinate that, that would be a GG. Yeah, but, uh, here comes the Yogg Panther to seal the deal. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep, upper right hand corner by the. Uh, oh, yeah. A Yogg Panther and a King Tiger. Listen, uh, Patton, General, um, yeah. we were thinking uh, that we could scrap this whole bazooka project and go for something that will actually penetrate armor. <laughs> Listen, boy, the object of this is of war is not to die for your country. Well, you then give us some tools that work! <laughs> I don't know. Yes. Not one of your more eloquent speeches, but I will fill in the blank and uh, and just say that uh, you know Yog Panther combined with the King Tiger is uh, pretty crazy. And I mean, the they Americans, don't have a counter for the it. The Americans right now. don't really have any really good anti-armor anymore. I mean, except for the well, I guess that's what they're AT really missing gun. is the AT gun. They don't have any AT guns out. A triple vet howitzer in the back. Wow. Yeah, that's that that's crazy. Oh, he's trying to 25 pounder the Sherman, the, the uh, King Tiger there. Good luck. Yeah, right. It's like somebody scratched my. Paint. I think I just saw that shell deflect off of it, or maybe that was the M10. Wow, that was a lot of shreks. He's hitting the motor pool now, so he's gonna have no counter for it at all. Oh, Such we've got a, a walking Stuka now. That's what did so much damage over here. Yeah, it's about to wrap up, so I'll just say that that's a heartbreaker for the for the allies. I think uh, closing comments while the last you know two minutes of this thing plays out is uh, the British player really did not entrench the center uh, early on. Didn't get trenches there. Just kind of played it like an American player would and kept on pushing. I think that in, in the long run that foundation that they didn't have early on really screwed them. Uh, as far as those Panzer Grenadiers, I just have no comment on their usage. I think everyone can see see that. Uh, they survived, that's for sure. Um, I'm looking at their kills while I still can, and uh, well, it's, some of them have quite a bit. 23 kills, but uh, oh. other, oh, other squads have... Uh, three, four, five, six kills, so I don't really think the Panzer Grenadiers were used. Look at this, look at this! That of offensively. Mm -hmm. the, Amer the Rangers in this slit trench, just, they're on, this trench is on fire, and they just went tick, 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 everybody's dead. Yeah. That damage over time is really massive. Yeah, I'm a few seconds behind you. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that right now, and they were down about 10% health before they lost a single man. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't have been the case in the old days. But uh, definitely, I mean, it was it was well played for the most part, and uh, it was an interesting replay. Yeah, there's some there were some flaws on each side. I think the Wehrmacht had a few too many static units on the left, expecting yeah. too many counterattacks on the left that didn't come, um, and the the the, the uh, Panzer Elite player probably retreated a lot more often than he had to. He probably could have gotten away with uh, just just moving out of the way of the artillery. 
the British, like you said, probably could have been trenched a little better, and I guess what probably might have saved them in the end is if he hadn't spent so much on Rangers, and if he had instead gone for some uh, for some AT guns at some point. Because once you saw you, you were yeah. fighting triple vet stugs, nothing you got, unless you build massive amounts of Shermans, uh, upgun Shermans, is going to be able to stop that short of an AT gun. So creeping yeah. AT guns up to the center there would help really a lot. And I really think that the uh, Ranger usage was quite, not quite up to par. Uh, I don't know if he was afraid of getting, you know, slowed for 20 munitions from the Panzer Grenadiers, but I never saw him really engage anything at close range, never charge, never do any of that. Uh, maybe I just missed it, but yeah, I, I didn't really see Rangers being used that well uh, in this in this replay. Um, the British player played it really interesting and decided, you know, in the early mid, early mid game, uh, to push up all the way outside the Axis base on the left, but never really was able to to push him back farther, far enough, and hold it. Um, interesting usage with uh, those emplacements in the mid game by the VP, which were, as we saw, was complete garbage because uh, of Shreks as well Shrek's as you know, just, uh, artillery. Shreks are so... I feel like they're like the penultimate destroy whatever you want thing. It's yeah. just... Ugh. Yeah. I mean, it's just interesting, you know, to go right side of uh, right side of the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, you mean Royal left side Engineers. Of oh, right side of Royal Engineers. Right side of Ro Royal Engineers, yeah. You know, just another reason not to go. You know, if you listen to the audio show, you can hear my rant about that. And uh, Yeah, it's a good show. I highly recommend if you guys haven't checked it out, check out the audio show, GameFire.com. Yeah. So, interesting play. Uh, definitely some improvements. But overall, you know, it was an interesting interesting game. Pretty pretty atypical game on, uh, on this map. But... Uh, what do you think of the map, Bridger? Any any weird quirks besides that sixteen point? Um, no, I think it's pretty well themed. The I think, like you said, that building on the left is very in a very crucial position to the uh, to the Germans. It's probably a lot more useful to start in the north on the left there than it is in the south because that building is so much easier to just block your opponent into their base. I'm sure if you can get a machine gun in there. But then again, it is right outside their base, so maybe it wouldn't have been that bad if it, there had been two bases over there. Instead, the British player like took over the right-hand side of the map, so it left the American player the only one to try and take that house back, um, that yeah. house area back. So it's tough what's, to say without playing a little bit more. Yeah, what's interesting when I play on this map is, is the early game is always about the center, that plus five fuel. You do not want to let the Brits get entrenched around there and the center VP. Um, and it's also like the left side tends to be uh, fought over a little bit more. Um, not so much if a British player starts out in the in the left hand pocket because they'll be moving their truck somewhere else. But uh, it's just interesting to me that the late game always tends to shift over to the right as the VPs get more important. So um, you know, something to take note when you're playing this map. Just to, that's just my experience with it. Yep. But uh, yeah, early earlier. Uh, uh, secured resources also on that headquarters command truck, please, and just and just camp this map. I mean, that's those mortars with like Royal Canadian artillery uh, can pretty much reach the entire entire map oh, if yeah. you just build a couple of them early. Good game. Good game. Thanks for uh, for submitting it. All right. Certainly, my favorite spot was when. Uh... I think it was a Nebel, but it might have been one of those walking Stukas. Absolutely obliterated, like three. Like 15 guys just dropped dead in the matter of seconds. Pretty crazy. Never thought Rangers, I'd say it, but yep. the Naval Warfers owning the Rangers was hilarious. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Tales of at GameFire.com is how you can send your own replays to us. T-A-L-E-S-O-F at game, GameFire.com. Also send us your questions, comments, and feedback about the show. Check out the audio show. Check out the brand new... FPS Weekly show that we have over at GameFire.com. They're in to their third week now. They have a review of the Orange Box, which is amazing, by the way. I talked about it in my blog at GameFire.com. You can see the blogs on the top bar there. There's a link to the blogs. You can set up your own blog, talk about Company of Heroes. There's a couple of cool strategies in there. Magnetic has got a really cool uh, IED strategy for the British you're going to want to check out. We had a couple strats of the week this week. 
in the audio show. Check that out as well. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. For Vittensby, I am Bridger. Have a good night.